Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the 9 p.m. live English news edition. Here are your top stories. Minister of Agriculture visits Elizabeth region. Closure of the work of the Conference on Medical and Medicinal Research. For the International News Incident Cooperation Agreement with General Electric Company. Hello, welcome again, welcome to our newsroom for having the news in uh, details. The Community Development Center of Neighborhood 5 hosted today a meeting ceremony with the representative of UNICEF, Mrs. Melba Johnson, in the presence of the uh, Ministry of Women and Families, Excellency, uh, Her Excellencies, uh, Mrs. Muhammad Ahmed Hassan, UNICEF Regional Director for the Middle East and North Africa, Mr. Ted Chavon. The Secretary General of the UNFD, Mrs. Fatima Musa Ali, accompanied by her deputy, Mrs. Rukia Yusuf Ali, the Secretary General of the SCGS, Mrs. Khadiga Ibrahim Idris, and several other officials of different institutions took part in this important meeting, namely uh, the uh, General Director of the Capital uh, CDCs, uh, Mrs. Rukia Hassan, the Coordinator and the Director of Neighborhood CDCs 5. This event also mobilized the community composed of young people, women, elders, and youngsters. Uh, this visit is primarily part of the recognition of effort made by the country in recent years in promotion. Protection is the realization of children's rights in Djibouti. In their intervention, the Vice President of the National Union of Jewish Women and the uh, General Secretary of the uh, State Secretary for Youth and Sport praised the tireless effort made by the Jewish government in all areas, including the education of all children without exception, whether immigrants or homeless children. Judy has come a long way thanks to the vision and determination of the President of the Republic who has spared no effort to promote the social condition of its citizens. In turn, the Ministry of Women and Family, Mrs. Muhammad Ahmed Hassan, shed light on the achievement of the Republic of Djibouti in various social areas. Now, on the occasion of World Food Day, the Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Muhammad Ahmed Awale, visited the Hol Hol district in Al Sabeh. The ministry was greeted with a warm welcome and a standing ovation by the people of this region. And after that, the ministry traveled to the local area to meet with Okal and Holhol notables in the perfect of the region. The discussions were constructive and fruitful in the presence of the prefect of Ali Sibir, Mr. Musa Adan Mikene, and the uh, director of the Jewish Community Development Agency, Mr. Mahdi Jama. And the notable expressed their warm thanks to the Minister of Agriculture, who kept the promises of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Margheli, to provide water in plenty. In his speech, the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Mohammed Ahmed Awali, thanked the inhabitants of Hol Hol and the Prefect of the region for the warm welcome he received upon his arrival in the district. He said that the President of the Republic had kept his promise to repair the water pipes and had been delivered. The Djibouti Agency for Social Development would make the connection of water networks conclude, concluded pardon, by the Minister of Agriculture. After his meeting with the population and the local chief, the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Mohamed Ahmed Awal, delivered a large quantity of water tanks to simple families in the region. The Djibouti Agency for Community Development has funded this and other social project in Hol Hol. The ministry and the accompanying delegation made an inspection visit to the various water supply sites connecting them to this area in order to meet the needs of the population and provide them with drinking water. After his visit to in Hol Hol, the Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Mohamed Ahmed Awali and his accompanying delegation went to the region of Faradil in Ali Sabih. The Minister and his delegation received a welc warm welcome again from the inhabitants of this region. The Minister met the occults and senior uh, officials where, uh, where uh, the discussion focused on various issues, including water and agriculture. At the end of this meeting, the Minister carried out an inspection visit to the project to strengthen the means, to, the means pardon, to fight against the problems encountered by pastoral social societies in the field of poultry farming. In his speech, the Ministry explained this project that the uh, Ministry of Agriculture has assigned to the Asbio area, which is a pastoral, poultry, agriculture, wells and water dams project, and we have also worked in the Asamo region, 
we are at the uh, beginning of this project and have heard your complaints and we will respond to the needs in this regard he said that uh, we have conducted an experiment to grow that which is one of the most beautiful dates in the world and is located and is located 600 meters from the sea surface and is suitable for growing different dates Still in Al Sabih, the region of Al Sabih closed yesterday afternoon its regional soccer championship under the patronage of the state secretary for youth in sport, the Shibushin Football Federation. Upon his arrival, secretary, the state secretary, uh, Mr. Hassan Mohammed Kamil, accompanied by the uh, health uh, minister, Mr. Mohammed Warsam uh, Wars, the minister of labor, Osman Ibrahim Rable, the president of the FDF, Mr. Hassan Mohammed Kamil, and the uh, and uh, Suleiman uh, Hassan Wabri was warm, warmly uh, welcomed by the uh, regional authorities, the Vice President of the Regional Council, Mr. Noor Saeed Gildon, the Director of the SEGS Regions, Mr. Ahmed Musa Absi, and the President of the Regional Football League, Mr. Jabril Amr Hosh, as well as hundreds of soccer lovers. Because of the coronavirus, the safety instructions were respected. The match of the final of the season opposed the team of Farad District to that of Barwaq. The victory went to the team of Farad, which won the match by two goals to zero. The ceremony of the final uh, to the regional soccer championship was attended by the chief of Bayes uh, Army Corps, Fali Sibih Colonel Abdul Wazir bin Mohammed. The ministerial delegation awarded trophies and prizes to the winning teams of this tournament, in addition to honoring the teams that participated in this tournament, organized by the Djibouti Federation of Djibouti Football Association. The final uh, match was attended by a large crowd of young people from the city of Ali Sabih. The conference on medical research concluded at the People's Palace, especially in light of the effort to curb the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. This conference is being held in the context of the fight against the global epidemic affecting the entire world, namely COVID-19, the effect of which continue uh, to this day. This conference brought together researchers from different scientific departments of the University of Djibouti and the Center for Research and Scientific Studies of Djibouti to discuss this epidemic and deal effectively with it in our country. It should be noted that this global epidemic has returned again in many countries, which led to the convening of this conference on ways and means to effectively confront it, as it requires encouraging medical research as the best way to prevent its spread. Our country has demonstra demonstrated its absorptive capacity in the management of the epidemic and has received praise for its activity related to the conduct of medical checkups of population since the beginning of last March. At the end of this event, certificates of appreciation were distributed to the participants on this occasion. Now, yesterday, the Jibushin Table Tennis Federation organized two sport events related to the Table Tennis Championships. The sporting meetings took place in the sport complex of the stadium Haji Hassan Goulet, the presence of the President of the Shibushin Table uh, Tennis Federation, Mr. Mohamed Omar, officials of the Federation and teams from various groups. The first event in the 11th edition of the uh, Djibouti uh, Telecom Open Championship in which hundreds of table tennis players participated, in which the player Mohamed Ahmed of the National Gendarmerie, Ahud Abdurrahman of Djibouti Telecom, and Burhan Abdurrazak of Djibouti Telecom won. On Friday, October 16, 2020, the Medical Hospital Center of Obo hosted a medical caravan. The specialized care was offered to the population of Hayu by the NGO Al Rahma in close collaboration with the Ministry of Health. A delegation led by the director of the NGO Al Rahma, composed of six medical specialists in their respective fields, was welcomed by the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Ibrahim Mohamed Tembio, and the uh, Deputy Prefect Ali Armaki. These are cardiology, pediatrics, ophthalmology, orthopedics. Etc. It should be noted that this caravan meets the proximity health policy desired by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Al Haj Ismail Margheli. This proximity health policy is very appreciated by the population of the regions because of the uh, distance that separates it from uh, Djibouti uh, city. 
During the day of this Friday, more than a thousand people of all ages have benefited from free care and quality medicines as well as health advice under the watchful eye of the chief physician of the Obo Health Region, Dr. Ibrahim Hamad Dimbio. Moving on to international news, authorities signed a memorandum with the U.S. company General Electric GA in what may be the most important agreement reached by Sudan in the last three decades. Prime Minister Abdul Hamdok plans to increase production of the power plant in El Fula, West Kordofan, at a cost of 915 million USD. GE aims to provide electricity to approximately 600,000 homes through mobile, through banes, and restoration of three power plants. Uh, May Abdul Halim, General Electric representative in Sudan, Libya, and Egypt, also said a few words in light of the newly signed memorandum. This memorandum is a step towards a long term relationship with the Sudanese government to provide access to the necessary, necessary energy and improve the electricity transmission network, in addition to improve and modernizing healthcare infrastructure, be it radiation, health, or tumor related devices as well as primary health care units, especially in the curb site and in villages far from the city. The Sudanese people face daily power cuts and parts of the country are not connected to the grid. This is it for this edition of 9pm. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful evening.